The Rich Rabbit. Most expensive house in America. Do you know that according to recent estimates, only a handful of homes around the world are worth $300 million? Then there are some houses that are worth even more than $300 million. And today we will tell you about the most expensive house in America. Before we start, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell button to get the latest updates about amazing videos. Without any further delay, let us start. Jeff Bezos might have moved too early to make his massive property splurge, with America's richest house set to hit the market very soon. Amazon founder Bezos threw down a record $245 million for a Beverly Hills mansion, the most ever paid for a home in Los Angeles. But that record itself could soon be broken when a 9,290 square meter Bel Air mega mansion named The One is put up for sale shortly. Movie producer turned developer Niall Niami builds the most expensive house in America. Seven years after he started working on The One, he says he is just about ready to test the market with his $500 million asking price. The One is more like a small town than a house. The house comprises of a nightclub, four swimming pools, bowling alley, and 360-degree vista of sun-dappled Southern California. It features a game room, 24-seat theater, gym, library, and a spa with a steam room and hot tub. The symbol of America's latest gilded age has generated a flood of media coverage since the price was announced in 2015. It includes 18 bedrooms, 25 bathrooms, and a garage with 20 different cars, too. Niami said in an interview, When you have something that's as rare as the Mona Lisa, you can command whatever you want for it arguing that recent nine-figure property deals in Los Angeles and elsewhere are proof that his pricing strategy was not just about generating press. When the house was started, I had no basis to ask $500 million, but now there are so many triple-digit sales in LA and the world that the asking price is not unreasonable anymore. He has not yet let anyone inside the property, but says the special features have helped draw interest from potential buyers. He is talking to them now, but declined to provide details, citing privacy issues. The one's unveiling will happen once the final interior decorating is done, Niami said. Williams and Williams Estates Group has the exclusive listing. Niami said, I've had potential buyers a long time on this. We have a list of very real, verifiable buyers that we will bring in soon. Pricing homes above their market value, a strategy known as aspirational pricing, is a way for a developer to get attention for ultra-luxury listings. A sale at the half-billion-dollar asking price would be more than double the biggest residential estate deal in the United States to date. A $238 million penthouse purchased by Citadel founder Ken Griffin in Manhattan. Naomi points out that Griffin's place is an apartment with no land while the one sits on three acres. If the house sells near asking price, it would crush the record for the most expensive home sold in the country. However, it may be it never finds a buyer to pay such an amount for the house. Then we are back to the current most expensive house in America, which is either the legendary Bel Air Estate Casa Uncandata or the $238 million penthouse in Manhattan. The Citadel founder closed on the $238 million penthouse at 220 Central Park South, so he will have a place to stay when he's working in New York, a Citadel representative said. The purchase price makes it America's most expensive home. Earlier this month, he paid about 95 million pounds for a 200-year-old home that overlooks London's St. James Park, about half a mile from Buckingham Palace. The luxury condo tower in New York was built by Vornado Realty Trust, which said in October it was approaching 85% sold with 26 full floor units in contract. The Robert A.M. Stern designed project faces the southern entrance to Central Park with most of the 118 units offering unobstructed views. Griffin's apartment is about 24,000 square feet. The deal was reported earlier Wednesday by the Wall Street Journal. However, this house is more like a penthouse, and some people may not consider it as a family home. Hence, the sprawling Bel Air estate known as Casa Uncandata is officially the most expensive home for sale in the United States.
The billionaire financier and philanthropist Gary Winnick listed his 40,000 square foot home for $225 million, making it the highest price for any residential property in the country. The Georgian-style 1930s mansion sits on eight acres with the Bel Air Country Club and has around 60 rooms in an H-shaped layout, which affords city, mountain, and ocean views from nearly every vantage. The mansion was completed in 1937 at a cost of more than $2 million. Today, that's the equivalent of $35 million, accounting for inflation. It had custom furniture, carpets and fabrics made by two of America's leading interior designers. These historic elements were revived in 2000 when Winnick purchased the property and poured millions into a two-year restoration project helmed by noted architect Peter Marino. The home has grand reception hall with epic 18-foot ceilings, and this generosity of space is continued throughout the dining room, card room, bar and living area. There's a pool house with a second bar, of course, and its own professional screening room. When it's time to explore the outdoors, there is a lighted tennis court, basketball court, rose garden, greenhouse and ponds. Indeed, it is a knockout and one that is used to make history too. According to the LA Times, Casa Uncandada, which translates to charmed house in Spanish, has not just once but twice set the record for the country's highest residential real estate sale. First in 1979, when David Murdoch purchased the property for $12.4 million, then again in 2000 when the current owner Winnick paid $94 million. If the property achieves the lofty listing price, it will trump the $119.75 million that the former Spelling Manor collected earlier this year, and for the third time, be the priciest home in the States. Charmed indeed. We can conclude that the one may become soon the best and most expensive house in America. It is an amazing house for a person who could afford it. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to tell us in the comments section about your views about the most expensive home. See you soon with another amazing video.